Hey guys and dolls, all my painters use paintbrushes at some point in time. So, how do we clean them? Finger painting? Psh! Phalanges are easy to clean. Some soap, some water, swish them around in your hands, and voila! Clean fingers! Palette knives are also very common to use. Those are also very easy to clean. Palette knife, water, some soap. Swish it around on the palette knife until it's clean. Rinse. Well, clean palette knife. But for those of us who like paintbrushes, learning to wash them is very important so that you can keep them for as long as possible. Now, some of you may have your favorite technique of how to clean paintbrushes. I have mine, so that's what I'm going to show you. I'm also going to show you how to shape your paintbrushes afterwards. To get down to business, you will need paper towel or cloth, dirty paintbrushes, Barb soap and liquid soap. It is best to get as much paint out, out of the brush as you can before you start washing it because you don't want to wash the paint into the paintbrush, you want to wash it out of the paintbrush. So your fingers work well for rinsing. So you'll turn on the water, use warm or tepid water, not hot water because hot water messes with your bristles. So you're going to put your brush into the water and use your fingers to clean them. It is best to get as much paint off the paintbrush as possible before you start cleaning it. So you want to rinse it off first and you want to use warm or tepid water for this, not hot water because hot water can mess with the glue that holds the paintbrush together. And then when that happens, this happens. Not the best result. So hot water, not a good thing. Now you're going to have then pointing with the flow, not towards it, because that's just messing up the bristles. So, when the brush is as clean as you can get it, bring in the soap. Pour a little onto your palm. You may wear gloves if you wish, if not, like me, that's fine too. Then take the brush and swirl the soap with the bristles, pushing down a little bit so that the soap gets everywhere. Then when it's sudsy or it turns a weird color, you can rinse off the brush the same way you cleaned it. Just keep swirling under the water. Then just for safety's sake, one more. So a little bit of soap, you can do it again. If the soap turns a weird color, you can do this twice, three times. If it's just sudsy, that's fine, your brush is clean. Okay, that's fine. So we'll try it with the bar soap this time. Same thing if you're using bar soap. You take the bar of soap, make it a little bit wet. Get some soap on it. And then, it's really around on your palm. It's not getting too sudsy, that's okay. But it's not turning color, so that means it's clean. So you rinse it off, you may want to wash it. So after all that, when your brushes are clean, you can now shape them. What you will need to shape the bristles is a bar of soap, a paper towel, and the clean paintbrush. Now, the paper towel is there so that if there is too much water or soap on your paintbrush and you want to remove some, you can just dab it on and that should take off some of the moisture. Now, to start this off, we'll get a little bit of water on the soap so that you can rub the paintbrush on there easily and get some soap on the paintbrush. 
Now the soap is going to help hold it in place. So when you get the soap on there, you're going to take your fingers and mold it into the shape you want. Now this paintbrush originally had that really nice point at the end. So what I'm doing is I'm molding it into that nice point that I wanted. I'm going to dab it on here because I think it has a little bit too much so soap on there. But other than that, it's really easy and that's how you make it whole. And when it dries, it's going to be like a brand new paintbrush. So there we have it. Then after that, you have some clean, shapely brushes to use for next time. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.